it's a couple of days since the floods, the flash flood in Toowoomba and the subsequent flooding of places like Ipswich, Grantham and um, Brisbane and what we have here uh, in front of us is the radar loop which shows the whole of Australia and um, you can see here that Queensland now is mostly clear along the coast but there is what is interesting is that this moist air moist warm air has been feeding down from Queensland and the tropics down across Melbourne well Victoria New South Wales and down to Tasmania and uh, basically what we have here is uh, cool air that's come across from the southern ocean in a uh, low depression and basically created a situation where it's mixed with the warm air and causing a hell of a lot of rain over Victoria right now at the moment so if we switch across to the closer view over Melbourne this is what it looks like quite right at the moment as you can see a lot of yellow over down in on Moorabbin and towards our way this is Melbourne here this is Frankston here and we're roughly halfway so just about there so if we translate that to what we see outside we'll see what's going on in the real world Karen's trying to hide here unsuccessfully okay, let's have a look and this is what we've got outside it's quite windy and it's we've got some pretty decent rain you might say this is steady fairly heavy rain and actually I'm about 10 feet inside the pergola but occasionally the wind gusts and I'm actually getting quite wet so there you have it it's been a, a wet couple of days yesterday was like this at times okay I'm now outside in uh, the car waiting for Gilda we're going to head over to Seaford for one of her jobs and this is what the scene looks like right here right now very wet Gilda's about to race out through this rain let's see what happens this should be funny here she comes look at her go <laughs> How's it wet out there, love? Huh? <laughs> what a doodle! Hey. There we are on Frankston Standing on Road, heading in the Frankston direction. So there are some issues which are happening here. Obviously, certainly haven't forgotten about what's happening up in Queensland. There are some major issues there. Some incredible acts of terrorism have come out of it. Uh, uh, We're on our way to take Gilda to her job in Seaford right now. And uh, we're on Seaford Road, just heading up to nearly the freeway. And this is this is what it looks like at the moment. 
fairly steady rain, but not over the top heavy, heavy rain. Beaufort's fire captain Colin Gerrard says that more than a third of his town is affected by severe flooding. The main recreational lake is overflowing, uh, sending a, a deluge of water running down into the eastern and the northern part of the town. A lot of houses impacted in there. Currently we've knocked on 60 houses and uh, evacuated residents out of that area. Now yeah, they're in the evacuation centre uh, being looked after. Craig Coulter of the Ballarat SES says crews there have rescued people trapped in cars in the city's east. The Hurwe Creek's very deep at the moment and we do have um, a lot of flash flooding in Ballarat. I've probably got in excess of over 150, 160 jobs in Ballarat. At this stage we have had a couple of emergency calls for drivers trapped in cars. The Western Highway remains closed between Ballarat and Horsham because of flooding. The Great Ocean Road is still locked between Lawn and Skeens Creek after new rock falls overnight. Several roads are closed around... Yes. Ready? Look at my 